assets, opportunities even, that you may lose. You must ask yourself if you love the people, because uh, the only thing that can bind you uh, to the people you serve is love. The ambition is not enough. Uh, I have discovered the power of kindness. And that has made me a radical optimist. That's why I stay away from politics and from religion. Countries that take unilateral action or coercive action actually like uh, Pinoy personally. It's not a beauty contest who's, uh, who's ahead of who. Yeah. Uh, but to Once upon a time, we were all irrelevant. And I sincerely believe that there will come a time we will all return to the dark embrace of irrelevance. Martin's man. RT30. Crank it up now. Hi, this is Inka. Here on the RT30, we've had more than a few suggestions to do the countdown when they're not working or not at school. So starting this Friday and every Friday after, catch me from 6 p.m. till 9 in the evening. Crank it way up. With the 30 most requested songs of the week. The RT30. If you want to vote for them. With Inka. My name is Inka. I'm your radio puppet mistress. 69 p.m. on RT. Wow. <laughs> now, I asked for several of your favorite voiceover work, and uh, this is one of the productions that you gave me. What makes that special? I got to work with one of my idols in radio. Mm-hmm. Back in the province, we would wait for a friend to come home from summer, for summer mm-hmm. to bring cassettes of mm-hmm. air checks. Because mm-hmm. before, they would record mga radio shows. Uh-huh. And then they put it in shoe boxes. I remember that because eh, when mm-hmm. I pick some, ako pa yung, I'll pick you up at the airport. But mm-hmm. ang pakay ko talaga nun, I just want to get that shoe box. Yeah. And I would listen to these tapes. First time I heard the likes of Jeremiah Jr. Mm. These for me are I I respect so much. Even up to today, when I see him. I, I have nothing but respect for the guy. Mm-hmm. North Andrew. And the cast of other radio greats. But see, Jerry, for me, he was the Magic Johnson of, of radio for me at that time. Because mm-hmm. see, Jerry was very warm, very creative, very mm-hmm. bubbly. He's not afraid to make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, people love it when he makes a mistake. Because he's uh-huh. niyang to bounce back. Uh-huh. And for us, in, in broadcast, you know, like, wow, that's hard. Mm-hmm. That is so hard. And I know for a fact that he's very good at production. Mm-hmm. Technically, this guy knows what he wants. The mm-hmm. sound, piece it all together. I've mm-hmm. seen him work and I go, wow. This particular plug, I remembered I was in Davao pa at the time. Uh, I was about to start my, my work sa government. But he called. He said, can you fly here? Fly first flight and then take mm-hmm. the last flight. Let's just record you one whole day. Mm-hmm. So it was the first time that I actually got Directions from my idol. I could. I. I did not know what to do, what mm-hmm. to say. I was. I was like, awestruck. Uh-huh. And then he just goes, "No, just have fun. Just have fun." And I didn't know he was recording it. Uh-huh. So how would you want to say it? So go, oh, yeah, ninety-nine point five RT. Oh, yeah, ninety-nine. I say it high pitch. Ninety-nine point five RT. He was recording all these things already. Mm-hmm. So I go, wow. Next thing I knew, after two weeks, three weeks, mm-hmm. he emails me. Listen, I go like, wow. Is that me? Wow. <laughs> so I go like, wow, to idolize him is one thing, but to work with him is another, a whole different thing. It's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. see, yeah, when I yes, say that, it's yeah. like, these are the people, uh, one of the people who would give me that inspiration every mm-hmm. single day. Mm-hmm. Well, how does it feel now that you both your voices are really on demand? <laughs> it still has not sunk in. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know, we, we now met in person now, and yeah. and, and and you would know, because eh? like ako, I have yet to look back. Because right now, I know every morning when you wake up, you say thank you. I still have my voice. Mm-hmm. And you pray, say thank you. I still have talent to share. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you. My brain is still working. Mm-hmm. I always had this thing about I will I will only stop. When I wake up one day mm-hmm. and my heart does not beat fast anymore, you're not excited to go out there anymore. You, there's no more rush. Mm-hmm. See, every morning before you go to work, there's always this rush. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you feel that rush mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Before that camera rolls, there's that rush. And you know that's a good thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because it keeps you on your toes. Eh? Mm-hmm. It 
tells you that you're gonna do good. Performance level. Yeah. Performance level. Yeah. And you will also feel mm -hmm. really you feel there's something wrong if you wala kang kaba. Mm -hmm. Because now that's telling you, wait, baka naging complacent ka na sa trabaho mo. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe you don't love your work anymore. When did you realize that you were Manila material? Ah, yeah. Good question. In 95, while I was still working uh, for Quest in Davao to set up the stations back in 91 to 95, mm -hmm. we, besides, we have always have this joke, we call it mababaan ka. If you tell a joke, uh, people say, ay, baka, mag baka maging totoo yan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I would joke around with my with my mm -hmm. local DJ friends and go like, you mm -hmm. know, ah, one day I'll be in Manila. You know, mm -hmm. and or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True enough, one day, Manila calls and mm -hmm. says, there's one DJ going out. And we went around, Cagayan, Kent, Cebu cannot commit the provincial stations. Manila says, you're the one we want. Mm -hmm. How's, how fast can you fly here? So I said, because it's a joke. I go, I'm a provinciano. What will I do there? <laughs> um, so I said, without batting an eye, I said, yes. Uh -huh. With only 3,000 pesos in my pocket to uh -huh. my name. Uh -huh. I said, yes. So when I got here in 95, 95, I was because this is it. This is the big league. Kumbaga. Uh, you have, this is all or nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say all or nothing, when you go out there to perform, don't perform to impress your colleagues. Go out there to perform, to make people happy. Because if you start impressing your colleagues, that will be your downfall. So I kept that in mind. With 3,000 pesos, I was living. Not just in salary. Ko nun, eh. And then I, I'd never forget that year because that was the year where Typhoon Rosing struck direct Manila. And I was living in Cubao in a friend's place. Pa. I remember after my first board work there, I said, I cried because I was standing there at this dilapidated uh, waiting shed in front of Philcomsen that across the street. The typhoon was about to hit. It, was the, it hit 10 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock, nandun pa ako. No taxi. Muulan ang lakas. I was crying. And then I whipped out my old smartphone and I called my mom. I said, I want to go home. I want to go home. My mom said, wala ka pang tatlong buwan dyan. Uwi ka na. <laughs> Parang ganun. How old were you then? 25. Oh my God. 25. A young, a young 25 year old provinciano. Provinciano. In Manila. But you know, you know, um, Bong. I'll call you Bong. My God, it's Magic 89.9 you're talking about here. Yeah. And this is the Magic 89.9. Magic 89.9. Yeah. At the height of, of, yeah. of its popularity, uh, I love the guys. They never made me feel mm -hmm. I was a provinciano. Mm -hmm. They never made me feel that. Mm -hmm. uh, with the likes of Joe Damango, mm -hmm. with the likes of uh, Ken Fortune. Uh, little David, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Reno at the time, mm -hmm. um, they made me feel at home. Um, they knew my situation at that time. So mm -hmm. they all helped me at one point until I could already sink in, I mean, blend in already and up to speed. Mm -hmm. and, and looking back at it, sabi ko, kung nakayanan ko nga at the time na umabot na ng 600 pesos yung nasa bulsa ko, uh -huh. syempre, ang yabang ka ba? DJ ako eh. DJ ako. Uh -huh. May 600 pesos ko. Parang DJ yeah. ako. May GC pa ba dyan? May GC pa ba dyan? <laughs> Um, these are the things that I would say have helped shape me. Mm -hmm. Just to, you know, mm -hmm. go out there, one shot, make it count. Mm -hmm. Always. Happen. Magic 89.9, the top notch class A <laughs> FM radio station in Manila, where La Salians will listen, yeah. Adenistas will <laughs> yeah. listen, and. Of course, coming from the province, I, I could just imagine uh, the, the insecurity. Because your yeah. you, you jokes more would be from the province yeah. and the way you would... But then again, you never showed it. You, you never sounded like a provinciano. So let's hear one of those clips. Yeah. Today's Best Music, Magic 89.9. It's a great day for us to play your music today. So let it in. We'll just play it for you. No problem. I get no that was then in Magic 89.9. <laughs> right now, let's play one of your sure. <laughs> tracks, performances. One of those days in the morning. It's a 99.5 Play FM. Now, where did you get or develop that the accent that you have? Part of my life, 